Okay, let's have a look at question seven from 2018 paper. And um, we need to reduce this second order differential equation to a system of first order equations and then solve it in two different ways. So it's quite a, a decent sized question. So just write the original differential equation down. Now you can use whatever um, symbols you like. I'm going to have y equals y1, y dashed equals y2, y double dashed. Um, I could use y3. I'm going to. I'm, I'm not going to need y3. I'm going to use y2 dashed. Right. So. Um, y is y1. So y1 dashed is y2 y2 dashed is so y double dashed is y2 dashed now I'm going to get that by rearranging this so the original equation y double dashed equals minus 3y minus 2y dashed y dashed is y2 and y is y1 so y double dash which is y2 dashed is minus 3y1 minus 2y2 and that's it I've uh, written it as a system of first order differential equations one thing I could do is write this in matrix form I'm going to need that later so I'm going to do it although I don't need to for this part of the question So it's that, and I can write that as 0, 1, negative 3, negative 2, times y1, y2. And that's it. Okay, part B says, um, find an approximation to y of 1.2 using h is 0.1 so I'm going to need to do two steps uh, oh by the way in this one I was given that uh, y at 1 is 1 and y at dashed at 1 is 0 so I really should have put um, y1 equals 1 y2 equals 0 at the point 1. So I'll put that in there. I'm going to use the forward Euler with h is 0 0.1 and we just need to remember that yj plus 1, the next approximation of y is the previous approximation of y plus h times a times yj again and this is a here. Now I know um, a first approximation, a first guess is one zero. So y one will be y zero plus h is not point one. A is my matrix <laughs> So it's going to be 1, 0 0.1, minus 0 0.3, 0 0.8. So that's going to be what I'm going to multiply by each time. So if I multiply that by 1, 0, I'll get my first iteration. So that's 1 times 1, which is 1. And that's minus 0.3. So when x is 1.1, y is 1, and y dashed 
is approximately 0.3. So if I want the next iteration, uh, it's going to be y2, the next one. It's going to be that same matrix, 1.1, 1 .1, minus 0 0.3, 0 0.8, times by the estimate I got for 1.1. 1 .1, and then I'm going to multiply that. Out, that'll be 0 0.97 and that'll be minus 0.54 so when x is 1.2 y is approximately 0 0.970 to 3 sig fig now for b part 2 it said use the backwards Euler so for the backwards Euler we've got yj plus 1 equals yj plus ha yj plus 1 so this is the one where we've got to um, rearrange to get yj plus 1 on its own. Um, sorry, that should have been an equals. Take out a yj plus 1 here. i minus ha. multiply by this to the power negative 1 so let's call that P inverse of P swap the main diagonal negate the other diagonal multiply by 1 over the determinant so that's going to be 1.2 take away 0.03 I'm pretty sure I've got a mistake here. Yep, I have. That should be negative. Okay, so it's 1.2 plus 0 0.03, so it's 1.23. So, I'm going to pre-multiply by P minus 1, so that'll go, and I'll be left with YJ plus 1 on its own. And it's going to be the inverse of P times by the previous value of y so that's good so I've got that now I need an, an, another iteration so I've got um, a minus y So this is my y, this is my y, this is just y dash, I don't need that. Uh, so y is 1.41 divided by 1.23 squared. So when x is 1.2, y is approx 0 0.932 to 3SF. Sorry about the uh, handwriting, it's got a bit bit rough there but that's how you do question 7 from a 2018 paper